The museum at Volkswagen's Autostadt is home to over 100 milestones in automotive history, all steps in the evolution and revolution of the car. Our test driver today, Christoph Bauer, is spoiled for choice. After much deliberation, he decides on the Austin Healey 3000. British roadsters traditionally had a reputation for having a rough but rewarding ride. This Donald Healey creation was the quintessence of the concept. Donald Healy was a wild guy, explains Christoph, an Air Force pilot, racing driver, and winner of the Monte Carlo Rally. When a guy like that builds his own car, you can bet he'll come up with something special. Welcome to the Austin Healy 3000. The deployment of volume production by parent company BMC cut costs. The 3000 costs the same as the lowest price Porsche, but packed double the power. Plenty of performance for a low price. That's how Christoph would sum up the Healy. 150 horsepower might not sound impressive, but this inline six cylinder delivers a dizzying amount of torque, even in the low rev range. So just the right thing for the swinging 50s and 60s. Those who failed to leave skid marks at the lights never got the concept of Healy. The Austin Healey is no cruiser. This is a macho roadster for real men. It does take some power to operate, it finds Christoph. You need meaty calves for the clutch and brakes. As for the steering, this Brit isn't so keen on curves. And when your driving gets too aggressive, you might find the rear swerving. So Christoph can understand how it earned its nickname, the pig. Out on the racetrack, the big Healy was out to upset the nice guys. Even professionals like Pat Moss found it tough to tame. But in 1960, she celebrated her greatest triumph. The younger sister of Formula One legend Sterling Moss drove an Austin Healey 3000 to overall victory in the Liège-Rome-Liège -Liège rally, the most challenging road race in Europe. The Austin Healey 3000's production run was between 1959 and 1967. It boasted a number of elements that were ahead of its time, says Christoph. It no longer has the side curtains you'd normally find in British roadsters. Here, you could wind the windows up and down. The folding top was also very modern. When up, it protected you from the wind and rain. Of course, you immediately notice this wonderful two-tone finish. It nicely underlines the 1950s design, as do the lovely spokes. This car is a real sight to behold. This Mark III version was the last built between 1963 and 1967. The enticing classic design was carried over with negligible changes from that of the predecessor model, the Austin Healey 100. Luscious Connolly leather, toggle switches and chrome-clad instruments set in a wood panel dashboard, a classic old-school Brit. The spectacular sound and sumptuous power are the work of the BMC C-Series engine, originally designed by Morris. The 150 horsepower fitted in the last version gives the Healy a top speed of 180 kilometers per hour. But despite disc brakes on the front axle, push this baby to its limit at your peril. The Austin Healey was not designed for every man, admits Christoph, but two things really do bug him. The upright sitting position feels more like a horse-drawn carriage than a sports car. Plus, the incredibly low ride height makes a Ferrari look like an off-roader. 
It's no wonder that spare parts like the exhaust are in such demand. Obviously, the Austin Healey is no pushover to drive. It's a blast from the past that dares you to tame it, but that's what makes it appealing. A famous German auto journalist called the Healey a roller coaster, a sheer cliff face, and a rocket in one. And Christoph agrees. Drive it aggressively, and you get a permanent adrenaline rush, either from dreading the next bend or from the joy of having mastered a critical situation. As roadsters go, they don't get any meaner or more British than this, and certainly a milestone in automotive history.